this room and to Douglas and Natasha, that, that uh, the International that, Criminal that, Court, the International Court of Justice, the, uh, the UNHCR, UNICEF, uh, Doctors Without Borders, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, Oxfam, uh, Christian Aid. Yep, you're booing. What does it come to when you're booing Oxfam? What does that tell you about yourselves? You're sitting here booing Oxfam to defend Benjamin Netanyahu. Let me just deal with something you just said. You talked about debunking propaganda. First of all, you can't even get Israeli propaganda straight. The Israeli government's own security agency, Shin Bet, investigated what you just said and said, no, we found no evidence that workers from Gaza were involved in the October 7th attack. Oh, oh Shin Bet are lying. No, They're booing Shin Bet, the Israeli security that. service. Got it. That. All right, look, let me finish my point. You had a five minute speech from your side. Okay. That's, that's, that's Shin Bet. Let me just deal with your wider point here. It, the, Douglas and Natasha tonight want to make this entire debate about October 7th. I get it. It's a horror show. But that's not the debate. The debate was about Zionism, and it tells you a lot that they can't find any arguments to say, as Gideon says, why we can't be allowed to criticize a political ideology that is 150 years old that many Jewish people have criticized from the beginning and continue to do so. They can't tell you why that is. So they focus on October the 7th, which is fine, but if you're going to focus on October 7th, then also focus on what happened since October the 7th, the erasure of Palestinians in this debate, the booing when Gideon mentions what happened to Palestinians. Shameful. I'm sorry to say it's absolutely shameful and telling about what's going on. And I would say this, if we're going to talk about October 7th and what happened since, everyone's a liar, the Hamas health ministry is a liar, everyone's a liar. Okay, friend of mine, American doctor, goes to Gaza, many doctors have gone to Gaza. You've seen them on the news, they're all liars, all Hamas apparently. Friend of mine went to Gaza, he's, he's been to Sudan, he doesn't just use it for whataboutism like Douglas, he's been to Sudan, he's been to Afghanistan, he's worked there. He came back from Gaza and said, I've never seen atrocities like I've seen here. Society, What's happened to children? Society, he's an anti-Semite because he yeah. saw children with burn wounds like he's never seen. He saw children with gunshot wounds to the head. To the head, but that's Hamas's fault. Everything is Hamas's fault. So let's talk about war crimes. It is amazing that every human rights group in the world, including Israeli human rights groups like Bet Selem, Gisha, Yeshbin, are all documenting this stuff, but you guys think it's all imaginary. So again, it tells you about what Zionism is. This is not about some abstract ideology of you know, people trying to settle the land and trying to have it. But as Gideon said, there was an argument to be had in the 1940s, 30s, 20s. Zionism today is what the Palestinians are enduring on a daily, nightly basis in Gaza, in the West Bank, in East Jerusalem, in Israel itself. And the erasure of that tells you everything about why we need to be able to talk about what Zionism does to the Palestinians without being smeared as anti-Semites. Okay.